Welcome to part 2 of the Wobbly Grid tutorial. In the previous part we've seen how to make a grid. And here we have the result of our grid system so far. So we've got here 16 by 16 blocks. And now we are going to manipulate the Y offset of the blocks. And give us a little bit more control of our grid. So let's head over to our script again where we left off. We will start by creating some uh, floats so we can uh, manipulate the um, block length, the block uh, width, and the grid height and some spacing in between. So let's start off by making some more public floats and let's call them block length, block width. Um, grid height and spacing between so we have a little bit more control over our uh, grid system now let's apply the variables that we just created and on the bottom of our script we have our transformed opposition and here we will add the spacing between so in its X and its C it will be multiplied by spacing in between and you have to put these in between and we will do the same for its Z so we will multiply this by spacing in between and now for the Y we need to make an offset that is different than zero because we want to increment the height of every uh, cube based on where they are in the grid so what, how we can do this is we've got our x and we can multiply this by its c position and if we put these in between then we can multiply this by the grid height that we just created now if we save this then we can open up unity now if we change our grid height to like 0 0.1 and spacing between has to be 1 Let's run it up and now you see that uh, the blocks will increment in, in its Y position uh, because they are further into the grid offset and if I close this one and I will make the spacing in between four and you can see all the different blocks are spaced in between. But now we also would like to change the scale of every object so we can actually make these if we want to um, make the spacing in between higher we will also like to make the blocks a little bit wider. So head back over to our script and we will add a line to change the local scale of our object. So block list block index dot its transform dot local scale. Um, equals new factor 3 which will be the block width and its block length and its block width now if we save this let's head back over to unity and if we now would uh, say that the uh, the length of a block would be like 2 and its width would be 4 because the spacing is 4. Now we've got here our stairs. Now let's create something more advanced because now you see the height of the blocks will increase incrementally by uh, the number of its uh, X and C position. but what we want to make now is to create some kind of a roof so if it's going to halfway of this then it should go down again and it should go down in its X position and in its Z position so you get like some sort of a pyramid instead of uh, just this one corner so what we have to do is we have to tell unity to um, when the number is over the half of 
the length of the grid size, it should go down. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is halfway because this is a grid of 16 by 16. And the ninth one um, is over the half of the total. So actually number 9 should be number 8. Number 10 should be number 7. Number 11 should be number 6 all the way down to here which should be number one again. So we're going to write a script to do exactly that. So our condition for the X and Z position we have to build it inside of the for loop but after the uh, block has been instantiated but before the position is being calculated so we have to put it here somewhere. So let's first make some uh, temporarily X and Z uh, floats. So let's say float, uh, I call this X temp is one and float Z temp is one. So we have to make a condition if the uh, X is above the half of the grid size. So let's make a new if statement. If um, x is higher than the grid in its x divided by 2, then then here we want to decrease the number uh, above half of the grid. And we will use for this the x temp that we just created. So x temp will be a decreased number. So what we have to do here is make the calculation of our uh, grid x um, divided by 2 minus its x minus its grid x divided by 2. So to explain this we have our grid of 16 width and for example if we're talking about the ninth instantiated um, number in its x position then we've got here uh, if x which is 9 is greater than uh, uh, grid x of 16 divided by 2 is 8, so 9 is greater than 8, then uh, the uh, temporarily x will be the grid size of 16 divided by 2, which is 8. The sum of this is 8 uh, minus uh, its x, which is 9, minus the grid size divided by 2 is 8, so 9 minus 8 is 1. So you've got here um, 8 minus 1 is 7 and if the number would be 10 then this would be 6 and so forth and so on. Now we have to build in an uh, else statement for if it's below that then if um, else then uh, x temp will be x. Now we can copy paste this and do the same for the Z. So let's just copy paste it. And if C is Z, just make everything here. Whereas an X, make it a Z. And here too. Now the reason we created uh, temporarily X's here is because we have to um, apply this X temp that we just uh, created of our algorithm uh, into its Y position, but still the X uh, in its X position and Z position should still be the original X. So let's make this X temp and this will be Z temp. Now let's save the script and test it out. Let's hit play, and as you can see, it just now goes up, and if it's over the half, it will go down. And we can make this a little bit 
better shown if we would set the height a little bit higher. So let's make it like three. Now you see a uh, some kind of a pyramid. Now let's spice up our project to create actually some material onto these blocks. And the material color will be uh, dependent on the position of the object inside of the grid system. So let's do that into our script. And let's add a public boolean. And we'll call this um, make colors. So we can tag it on or off um, whether we want to make the colors or not. Now let's head down to our script and underneath the um, if else statement that we created here, we will make the if make colors is um, selected. Now let's here instantiate a new color. So we'll start off by our block material that we already created and we will talk to its color which will be a new factor 4 because a color has uh, an RGB and an A uh, for its transparency and here we can uh, fill in now like 1 1 1 1 and we will change this to something else later and now we will apply this color to the instance of the object so the block instance dot it's get component it's uh, we'll talk to its renderer dot its material dot its color will be block math dot color now let's make uh, the um, R and B let's make it zero and we will create the uh, only the Y of the color or actually the uh, green um, of the color and make a new float here uh, which will be called color percent of its G and that will be based on its X and C position uh, divided by the grid size which will be a number between 0 and 1 because that will be a percentage. So if um, we type in here its x temp uh, times its c temp divided by the total grid size, this will be a, a number between 0 and 1. So if we fill in the um, color percentage g into here, now if we have the most farthest um, block into the grid that would be like for example the 16 by 16 and you get here um, the total number of the grid size if you divide this by the grid size then the number will be one so the most farthest one will be totally green and everything in between will get lower now let's save this and let's head back over to unity now tap on the make colors and don't forget to apply the material onto the block mat and it will fire this up and you'll see the colors applied in a gradient. Now because we did this I made a little mistake so back to our script. Because we divided it by 2 we should divide this also by 2 so let's divide the grid size also by 2 because at the half point it will go uh, down again now if we go back and if we'll fire this up again you will see a little bit better result here and you'll see a gradient now we can also apply this to the R and B to get some little bit more fun uh, representation of colors so if we'll type in here a color percent of R and also type in a color percentage of uh, B is 
Um, and here we will say that x temp divided by grid uh, grid x. And what we'll do here is it's z temp divided by is grid c. And we can now apply um, Oh, I actually made a mistake here because um, this one should be here and the G should be here and the V should be there. Now if we go back to Unity, let's show what this does. And I get some nice colors here. Now this is really not efficient because now it actually Unity made about 256 different colors, instantiations of colors. So all these colors are new colors. So it's not really uh, very efficient for your game, but uh, for now it's a nice representation. And this comes to the end of uh, this second part. And in the third part, we will uh, animate these different blocks um, through some mathematics to make it that wobbly feeling.